So this is the default MATLAB window. You can customize how you want your MATLAB desktop, which is what launches when you launch the application, to have different windows. I don't like having current folder open, so I reduce that. What current folder is, is that MATLAB created a folder on your computer called Unoriginally MATLAB when you downloaded the program, and almost all of your M files and your figures will be saved there by default, unless you choose a different location. So there are multiple windows you can already see. The command window is the most important. It's the main window, and this is where MATLAB puts you when you open the program. Um, it's characterized by this little command symbol. So you type things in here. Use semicolons to suppress output. Um, you can make vectors in a variety of ways. My computer is having a little bit of trouble, so bear with me. Um, if you press return and you haven't closed something, it will not actually run the program. It'll wait until you close it. So this lets you create an array that way. However, if I did that with just a number, it would output it. So don't do that. So now you'll note that as I've been doing that, this has been changing. This is the workspace window or workspace pane. And here you can see a list of all the variables that you've generated so far, along with their shape and type. And you usually are able to right click and do some interesting things. It'll let you save things, it'll let you duplicate, rename, plot. And you'll have options depending on what kind of data type you've generated. Also, as I've been typing, you can see my command history, which is right here. If you don't clear out your command history, which you can do by going to edit, clear command history, you can do the same thing with the workspace and the command window you'll have commands here and you can double click on it and it'll rerun it, which is kind of cool. You can also select a set. Well, normally you can. You can select this usually and generate an M file by right clicking and selecting the appropriate options and create a script. It, it's an interesting thing to do. You can also right click in this window to clear. There's a lot of ways to clear all of these. You can also clear the command window by typing CLC. Or if you're on a Mac at least, you can clear this using Command-K. So pick your favorite method of doing it. There's also the current directory. This is where everything that you're generating is being saved, if it's being saved. You have an option to save your workspace if you've generated a lot of variables. It's really useful if you're using this for lab work and you want to have different vectors of data and you don't want to have to re-enter them each time. So these are the main desktop windows. There are also figure windows, which is what happens anytime you create a figure set. So I'm going to do that really quickly. When I say plot x comma y, it pops up a figure and it's pretty bare bones but you have options. It's usually easier to do this in a script, but MATLAB does give you a GUI where you can add an X label, calling it X or a Y label. You can add in legends and a bunch of different stuff. So this is worth playing around with. You can actually add some things that are completely unrelated to the plot, like a text box or an arrow here if you feel like it. And you can actually play around with the figure properties and pull up this figure properties menu, which gives you some fun things in terms of if you want to change the axes or change the font, and you don't really feel like dealing with doing that in the command window or in your script, it's kind of nice to do it here. So I recommend playing around with the property editor, eh, property editor at some point. You probably don't need it for this class, but it's good to know what you can do. So that's one option. Note every time you do a plot, unless you specifically create separate figures, it's just going to immediately overwrite. You do have options of using things like hold on. And plot doesn't just have two options. You can actually plot multiple things per plot. Like I could do x, y, x, two times y. And it would give me two different plots on the same one. You can also use hold on. Let's see if I can show an example of that. 
To do that, I'm using shift return so that it doesn't automatically evaluate the command I'm typing in. Where's my figure window? My figure window is here. And note that they're both blue. MATLAB has an order of colors that it uses when it generates, and if you use hold on, it goes back to the first one in the sequence. So you're not usually going to want to do this here in that way, but if you're using a loop and you're constantly generating ones, you'll want to hold on after each one so they all go on the same figure. And you can save them here. You want to save, if you want to be able to play around with the x-axis or manipulate this after the fact, you want to also save the fig file, which is the file that MATLAB can play with. It isn't going to let you change a JPEG. So maintain your data. There are other windows, but you're unlikely to use them as much, except for the editor window, which is if you do new, you're given all these options for scripts and functions. And this is just the generic editor. And in this editor, you can write, edit, create, and save your own programs in mFiles. You can also use a text editor, but it's usually pretty easy to do it here. You can type whatever you want. If you want to do a comment, you just use the percent symbol. That's a comment. And if I were to save it, it automatically saves it as an M file. And that's pretty convenient for doing different scripts. You also have an option of making a function file. Note that you can type functions into M files. If I were to press save, it's still an M file. But what it's doing is it's giving you the option of just conveniently having these. You use these um, brackets if you're going to have multiple things. It's similar to a Python tuple. But you can also just have this be like x. Note you can't run a function here. If you want to make a function, you can do that in the editor. Not the editor in the command window, and I'll show you how in a minute. You can also have functions that you don't define using functions, which is nice, actually, but if you want to do one and you want to run it and have a named function, you're going to have to save it in a separate m file, and then you call the m file in the command window, which is a little annoying, but MATLAB is very powerful, so it's okay. So that's a basic introduction to the features you have here, other than Simulink, which you don't need here. You'll use that in 105. But that's the MATLAB desktop.